Hello friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Amir Khan. And in this video we will be discussing that how we can work with multiple baselines. So I have already created a project with blank activities. So currently there are no activities. So what I will do very quickly, I will add different activities into this project. So let's say I will add here six activities. And currently you can see that all activities are having a default name. So I will change the name for all of these activities. So I can directly change the names from the main window, double click here, and I'll just give them a name, activity A, B, activity C, D, E, and activity F. So these are all the six activities I have as part of my project. Then after that, I will give them the duration. So I'll select the first activity, and uh, if I go to the status tab, so you can see here the duration, the original duration. So I'll have to change the duration for all of these activities. So I'll give them any any duration that I, uh, so I'll give them any duration, uh, doesn't matter. So uh, let's say activity A, four days, activity B, six, then two days, D also two days, E, six and f four days so these are all the uh, activities and currently you can see that the dates are not accurate so all of the activities are starting on the same date and finishing on same date as well except couple of uh, these two activities depending on their uh, duration but they are starting on the same date uh, because we have not developed our schedule yet and so once we have given them the duration the next thing we'll do is to give them the relationships so we need to determine the sequence of these activities so for that we'll select our first activity which is activity a and then we'll go to the relationships tab so we'll select activity a and then we'll go to the successor and click on assign button so for a the successor is b for b it is c for C it is D, D is E and for E it is F and then we'll close the window and you can also view these relationships if you go to the activity network diagram so if you maximize so you can see here activity A, B, C, D all in order so let's go back to the table view and uh, if you are not clear how to define these activities and what are the relationship diagrams so we, you can watch one of my previous video there you can see how to define the network diagrams all in detail so the purpose of this video is to work on the baselines so we have our activities we have given them the duration and the relationships now we'll have to uh, work on the schedule so we'll have to create the schedule so on windows you can directly press f9 or you can go to tools and click on schedule one thing you will have to do is to select the data date. So this data date is going to be the date when you will start the execution of this project. The first day of execution, let's say it is going to be 3rd of August. So we'll select 3rd of August, select and click on schedule. So now you will see all the dates are accurate as per our settings. So let's say that this is what we want this is the uh, the version of the plan we all have agreed on and now we want to make this version of the plan to be a baseline so we'll click in order to make the baseline we'll go to the project menu and uh, here in the project menu you will see two options assign baseline and maintain baseline so first we'll go to the maintain baseline in order to create a new baseline so you you can see here there are currently no baselines available so simply you will click on the add button and go with the first option click ok and here we have our first baseline b1 so this is the first baseline and then we will close this window so what has happened here is that the project which you can see on the screen so the same project has been copied again as a baseline and the name has been given b1 so we have two projects, one the, the current project that you can see on the screen and there is another copy 
of the same project which is a B1 or the baseline. So we have a baseline project and then we have here is the current uh, project or we can say that we have a baseline plan and we have the current plan that you can see on the screen. So what we need to do once we have created a baseline plan we need to connect the that baseline with our current plan. So the connection needs to be established. So uh, second step for the baseline is again go to the project uh, menu and then instead of maintaining the baseline we'll click here on the assign baseline. So here we have the current project. The name of the project is Baselines. So what we will do for this current project that you can see on the screen, we will uh, connect or link a baseline with this project. So the baseline is B1. So normally the name of the baseline is the name of the project dash B1, B2, B3 like this. So we'll say the B1 is the baseline we want to connect. And here in the user baselines primary, also select B1. So now the connection has been established and we'll click OK. All right. So we have all the dates, everything is fine. Now let's say we are still in the execution of the project and now we want to make some modifications. Let's say we want to change the duration of some of these activities. Still we are in the planning phase of the project. So let's say for activity A, we'll select activity A and we'll go to the status tab. And let's say we change the duration of activity A instead of four days, I want it to be eight days. For activity B, instead of six days, I want it to be 12 days. And for activity C, instead of two, it is going to be four days. So due to any reason, we have increased the duration of these three activities. Still, we have the same dates because we need to regenerate the schedule. So since we have changed the duration, definitely dates will be changed as well. So again, we need to develop the schedule. So we'll go to tools, click on schedule. We'll keep the same data date because still the project is going to start on same date, 3rd of August. But we'll just click on schedule again and then it will rerun the, uh, the schedule as per the new dates, new du uh, duration, new relationships, whatever we have changed. Click on schedule. So the dates have been changed, but you cannot see the dates on the current display. The reason is that the columns that we have added here are displaying us the baseline dates. Whereas the baseline that we developed B1 still using the old dates. Okay. Because we have not recreated the baseline as well so we have only regenerated the schedule but we have to recreate or update the baseline as well as per the new changes okay so i'll show you one thing if we add uh, some columns here so let's right click and add a couple of columns and i'll add two more columns for the date so i'll go to the dates section okay and uh, let's say all rbl Okay, start. So here I have, okay, let's say the start. I'm going to add these columns after activity name. So start date, and then I'll also add the finish date. Okay, and I'll click okay. All right. So what you can see here that for activity A, the start date is 3rd of August, and the finish date is 11th of August. Okay. Whereas in baseline, it is 3rd of August and finish is 6th of August, which means our baseline is not yet updated. It is, it is still the old baseline. Whereas the dates in the project, they have changed 3rd of August and will finish on 11th of August because we increased the duration. Whereas in the baseline, we are still using the old dates, which could be a problem, especially during the execution of the project because we may be following the old baseline. So the first baseline, which is this B1 is no more valid. So what we will have to do, because we have changed uh, or we have made some changes in our project, we need to update the baseline as well. So what we will do, we'll have to repeat the, the both steps again. So we'll first have to maintain the baseline. So we'll again click on the add button. And the first option, because whatever we have in the current project will be saved as baseline so we'll click here okay 
and now we have B2. So we have two baselines B1 and B2. That's fine and click OK. Uh, so we'll just close this window. But still we have the old dates. And the reason is because in the in the current project, the link that we established is the same old B1. So we need to change that link as well. So we'll go back project and assign baseline. And now instead of B1, we'll link B2. And click OK. Alright, and now you can see that the baseline dates have been changed as well. Okay. Again, maybe uh, during the execution of the project or while you are still in the planning phase of the project, you have changed some of the settings. Let's say you have added some more activities or uh, you have changed the duration, you have changed the cost or expenses or anything. So whatever you have changed, in that case, you will have to uh, recreate the baseline or if you have changed something in the duration or dates so first you will have to uh, regenerate the schedule then you will have to recreate uh, the baseline and then you will have to assign that latest baseline so that could be b3 b4 b5 with your current project okay so let's try one more thing is for example i'm going to add one more activity which was not there in the project earlier so this is a new revision of uh, the plan that someone just told me to add a new activity so i'll add one more activity okay so i'll just keep it new activity i'll, I'll not so that we can know that this is the new activity here so this is the new activity and i'll give the duration to this new activity 10 days okay and uh, then i'll also have to define the relationship that where this activity will fit in uh, our project so I'll go to the relationships and to make it simple I'll say that it will come after activity F so I'll select activity F and in the successor I will assign this new activity so I have a new activity at the very end okay then because I have the duration for this activity as well I'll have to uh, generate the schedule so I'll press F9 Still, we haven't started the project, so we'll continue with the same 3rd of July, 3rd of August uh, data date and click on schedule. So you will see the dates will be updated for, for the new activity. So now the new activity will start after activity F okay, on 14th of September and will finish on 24th of September. And because it is not yet part of the baseline, Okay, because in the previous versions of the baseline, we didn't have any new activity. So we'll have to repeat the same step again. So project, maintain baseline, add, save the current version as the new baseline, click OK. Uh, and now we have B3. So we will close. Okay, but we have, we also have to change the link as well. So project, assign baseline, and instead of B2, now we are using B3 as the current version of the baseline and OK. And now you can see that in the baselines uh, also we have the new uh, activity, the activity that we just added. So you can keep on making changes, but every time you make a change, you, you, will, you will have to make a new baseline and you will have to reestablish the link with the latest version of the baseline. So again, there are so many other details that we can work on with multiple baselines, especially during the execution of the project. So I'll be making some other videos uh, continuing uh, from this video onwards that how we can uh, work much more uh, details about the baselines. So I hope you like this video. So please subscribe to my channel and uh, share this video. And uh, I'll make the new video, the next video, uh, which will be the continuation of uh, this one to give you more details about the baselines. Thank you for watching.